Back with Pokemon Shield Crown Tundra Part 3. And during the last episode, I kind of had a talk with, um, I forget his name, um, the League of Spore there, and I ended up going in a couple different directions. I ended up finding myself in one of the Reggie Rock, I'm guessing is what they are, caves. I got past the first point, which was the door, which basically told me to have my first Pokemon have an Everstone. So now we're going to find, oh crap, my controller down the wrong spot, hang on. And now we're gonna find out what it, we gotta do in this area. All right, having the other stone thing, I think it's uh, I think it's already different from how the uh, it was uh in um Gen three. All right, so let's see what we can do here. A huge Pokemon statue is looking down at you. Okay, what do we got here? Hmm. Is that all I had to do? Something changed in the air. Okay. Who wants to just looking down at you? Hmm. What happens if I leave? Okay. Doesn't like anything. Um. I wonder if I do them in a specific order. Hang on. Hmm. Let's try it like this. Dang it. Ah, crap. So there's a specific pattern I gotta touch, I think. Okay. change in the air. Okay, I get that, but what do I do now? Um. Huh. Rocky Stage is emanating from a Rocky Power is in the statue. Do you want to check it out? Um, actually one sec. Oh. Let's save. Actually. Normally I don't do this until the end of the episode, but we gotta make sure. I think I know I'm gonna be facing one of them. Considering it's called Rocky's Power Reggie Rock. Is, uh... Alright. Reggie Rock. So people are softer setting for these things, but I'm not much of a person for that. So... Level 70. The Gig Drain, take it out in one shot? It might. Nope, still alive. I have Master Balls, but I'm gonna try not to use them. This was the other one I encountered during the last episode. I might have to look up how to how to deal with those. So, um, I think in this situation it'd be best to switch to um, Slowbro here and use a physical move because he's gonna keep using Curse. I think using Serve would just knock it out immediately. Okay, going for Hammer Arm. That's pretty good. To lower his speed even more and do barely any damage to Slowbro. Critical hit. Okay, so using Surf would be a bad idea. Let's see what else we got here. Shell Sight Arm. Is that a special one? Let's go Zen Headbutt, see what we can do with this. Look, I'll let it move first. Because I, I, I was expecting it to do about that much. I think only 12 7 on the Switch too much. It seems like really slow, but then again, I was. Anyway, regardless of what I said. Um. I did find something very interesting out today is that, um, well, not interesting. I, I went out to, um, a place where they sell the dollar packs of Pokemon cards. They're like three, there's, there's three in a package and they have the three cards and then like the little thing that tells you where to buy other cards at. I purchased five of them. I got nothing out of the first three packs and I picked up a, um, holographic Victini, which isn't worth, a, it's worth about 60 cents, not worth a lot. But then I put, pulled the big one, which was, um, the Charizard and Brexton GX team, which um, according to my research and me just looking around random stuff and kind of adding everything up and dividing it, averaging it up is um, actually worth about as much as I paid for the card, so I made my money back and then a little bit more. So he is now at red HP, so we're gonna... pretty sure I have like a crap ton of... of um, see, I have like nine Master Balls. Um, 
If you're wondering why, how I have nine, it's because I'm part of a Pokemon group. One of them, and they used to um, do giveaways, and the typical thing they would have attached to it would be the Master Ball. Which, it, it lets you get to Pokemon without fail, but I'm not going to try to use those. So, um, I'm going to start with a Dust Ball. If this goes on too long, I'll start using Time Rolls. Because they, um, well, let me explain. The Dust Balls, um, I might catch it right there. Actually. Nope. The Dust Balls, um, work better when it's dark in a cave or something like that. And we're in a cave tent. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. Alright, so we're gonna you slack off here to get some of that HP back. He's gonna restore half of his uh, maximum HP if you didn't guys didn't know that. So for Hammer Arm again, that's what I was expecting him to do that time. Okay. Good news is that using Hammer Arm goes his speed, so. so we're gonna try um, the Dust Ball again. I think Red Rock in this game, I, I, I could have sworn he was like a blackish color. The shiny is. Did I catch it? Nope. Goes for superpower. Another good thing about his superpower is that it wars his attack and defense. Which helps. I mean, he's got curse to read to get them back, but it steep kills the lore. His, still lowers his speed. I'm going to go for Slack off again. It was like the best Pokemon to use right now for, uh, like catching legendaries because it can heal itself. Maybe now that I know how how Slowbro works, maybe I'll um actually come to think of it. I did evolve Slowbro never to look at its actual stats. Let's do that real quick before I forget. Okay, so Slowbro will send you three. Okay, so wow. So its special attack is actually higher than its regular attack. The only reason that its attack is higher is that high right now is because of the nature. Its speed is crap. Special defense. You know, I could see this running. I could see it running like a, um, you go, uh, let's see, let me think. You go modest nature or timid nature. It increases, it decreases the attack or its speed. Or increases the attack. No, timid one won't. No, yeah, timid one works. Then increase the speed of the lower attack. And then if you, um, gave it all attack moves and gave it a, assault vest and events in defense and make it a uh, special tank. And then with quick draw, you'd be able to move occasionally faster. You'd probably get a quick quad to even make it go even faster. Faster if you didn't want to use the. That sounds like the, maybe I'll try that since I'm one of my teams. I almost attacked. That would not have been a smart thing to do. All right, so I'm gonna try some uh, timer balls now. The timer balls they um, work better the longer the battle goes on. For this has been going on for about seven, eight turns. Maybe. Oh, that didn't even make a budge. All right, so that ain't gonna work. Gonna do you guys remember? Anyone remember? It put in the comments. If you remember? Um. Do you remember in Generation 1 how they uh, they would just randomly not hit the Pokemon? I'm telling you, when you're trying to catch the Legendaries, it, it only happens with the Legendaries, too. That's the time that you miss, and it, it gets annoying really fast. Like, it took me, like, um, I'm playing Pokemon Yellow recently, and it took me, like, how many tries? Like, five or six Mewtwo encounters in order to catch it without a Master Ball. Goes for the Stone Edge now. That does. Okay, not too bad. This race is going to run out of uh, power points before I can even do anything. That's the other thing in, in Generation 1 is that the opponent, if you're fighting an opponent, they have unlimited power points until they're on your side of the field or until you catch them. Which was broken as hell. And another thing you used to have was the 1 out of 256 glitch, which if a Pokemon had even had 100 accuracy, it would still just occasionally not attack, would occasionally not miss even 100% accuracy. Wow, he's put quite a bit of fight, isn't he? Oh, duh, why didn't I think of this? Um... I read somewhere that it says that this doesn't help, but I can switch to um, Venusaur and put it to sleep. I forgot I had a, I have sleep powder into this, which means I can probably just sit there and heal and then put him back to sleep when I need to. I'm surprised I didn't think of that sooner. Hammer arm. Ooh. Hurtful. So I think after I catch uh, Reggie Rock, if I catch Reggie Rock, is I'm going to go back to what's his face and tell him about those. This part of the legend. But maybe I should explore a little bit more first time, for more familiar with the map. Wow. So I don't know if they, if Reggie Rock just has a low uh, catch rate, but let's put up quite a fight. Um. So we're just gonna throw dust balls at guess until he stays in the damn ball. Nope, he just pops right out of here. I forgot to put him to sleep. I got I, I got him 
I've been talking too much. I got Venus for out, and I started, had all that plan. I didn't even bother trying to put this sleep, put him to sleep. We're gonna fight. Go oh, sleep powder. Go to sleep. And of course, he evaded it. Go for curse again. There are some things, like, in this game that I wish they would, uh, be more careful with, like, um, certain moves. I mean, for the most part, uh, in this generation, they really, uh, took out, like, a lot of problems. Oh, wow, his eyes actually light that, or, um, uh, don't light up when he's asleep. That's kind of cool. That's a nice little trick they, or a nice little thing they added to it. They couldn't have done that. That's pretty cool. All right. Now, if you guys remember, wow, he just broke out immediately, just like the last time. Um, if you remember how short I have armor was, it was like nine episodes compared to like how many episodes I made of the actual game itself. Um, this is gonna be quite a short. I, I maybe maybe with me catching Pokemon, with me catching Pokemon, it's gonna be like maybe ten to fifteen episodes max. Unless I just spent like this whole episode just trying to catch this red new rock. Let me try the um. Let me try the. Uh, oh, I have heavy balls, but I only have two of those. Well, let's try it. I mean, not like I ever use them for anything else. No, we can just right out of that. Alright. He woke up, he goes for Kirk again. Um a bit of sleep, I guess. Go back to sleep. Alright, come on. I could use Tech of the Lord's HP slightly, but I don't think it's really gonna help in this situation. So let's go with the um, timer balls. See if this does anything. Now it's been quite a few turns since the battle started. I think it's like 20 ish turns that really starts being effective. One, two, ah. Let's try again. Um, I really would like to, like, um, I don't think I have the ability to do it because of, you know, I mean, I have my own computer at the moment, but. I would love to do live streams of some of these games. That way I have, like, the chat to talk to because I feel like I run out of... The reason I don't do a lot of talking is because, well, I really run out of stuff to talk about really quick. Like, if I had, like, a cult, someone who was talking to me or the chat that was talking to me, I think I'd go a lot further with this. Um... Pepper ball. Stay in the damn ball, Red Man. Yeah. Whoa, that was that was strong, really strong. Come on, timer ball, let's go. Well, I'm already 13 minutes into this episode. Just got on my timer. Dang it! Stay in the ball. I'm gonna switch back to dust balls. Timer balls was working for a little bit, but then it just stopped working again. I think I'm gonna put him to sleep. Then I'm gonna have to use synthesis to get some some of uh, Venus or they heal back. The thing about sleep power too is he can't use moves while he's asleep, so that means he won't lose any power points that he might actually knock himself up with struggle with. But if I remember right, super power has five power points. Um, curse has ten. Um, what else? Stone Edge has five, so he's used curse. He's used curse, hammer arm, and. Superpower, right? What else did he use? Does he not use his fourth move at all? Or maybe I'm just Stone Edge, Hammer Arm, Curse. Hammer Arm, Curse. Okay, so yeah, each of his moves has about 10 to 15 apiece, which means that you're gonna run out of power points to use. Excuse me. I had to sneeze. Right, I'm gonna start using dust balls because the only thing that seems to be doing even a consistent amount of work on dust ball. Here we go. Is that been used for these now? This, they're now 270 dust balls. Dang it, man! We're halfway through this episode and it's just me catching right here. Out. I could try to lower HP more, but I don't see a point because tackle at this point would do like nothing. I'll use Giga Drain, but Red Rat's gonna have to go down instantly. Then again, for being level 70, that'd be a pretty good moveset for Red Rock. Like, maybe even viable in a, a flavors player. 
Damn, man. He's not he's giving me a lot of shit right now. I thought the answer right there. Yep. Um I can't think of anything that would help speed up this process either. Unless my one of my Pokemon has something useful. No, not really. Well, considering his set, I probably should switch to Urchiku. Alright, come on. He starts hurting himself, this is basically over. Come on. Jeez. They say the Lord increased the um catch rate for the or decreased the catch rate for these guys, but I still don't see it. Cause he just I I don't think I've ever had a, a poke how the uh this problem with the Pokemon in, in the, on the Switch games before. My god! Did you stay in the ball? Yeah, he's, I think he's pretty much out of Arizona's butt curse. Stay in the ball. I tell you, there's going much longer I might consider using Master Ball, because this is ridiculous. If he starts hurting himself, I'm going to have to use a Master Ball. Or is it much to that, else to that? Come on. Why is it only doing it once now? It was doing it a bunch of times before. Came arm again. He's just coming down. Oh, this is ridiculous. All I can think about is using a different kind of ball. That's the only thing I can think of. No, I don't want to switch to him. I don't know why I was thinking that. But it's slow, bro. Come on. Bad. Oh, this Pokemon Green Ball. Either while they're asleep, I probably should have tried that when I had what's his face out. Repeat ball, quick ball. Fastball, frightened ball. I'm going with timer again, that's all I can think of. Did I get him? No, dang it. It's close I've ever gotten so far. Let's go for my arm again. I think he's out of stone edge, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Another timer ball, come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Jeez, that was a that take me like freaking like like 16 minutes. Alright, sweet. No one leveled up, but I caught Red Rock, so I'm good. Red Rock today will be added to the Pokedex. Reggie Rock. Rock Peak Pokemon. Type Rock 57 507.1 pounds number battled one. Cutting edge technology was used to study the internals of this Pokemon's rock body, but but nothing was found. Not even a brain or heart. Huh. Send him to a box. I'm going to check him out real quick. See how his EVs and all that are. You dialed down the current status on, on the legendary clue 2. Whoops. Beep, beep, beep. Oi, oi, it's me, Peony. You're looking out for yourself there, Chief. Come again, you met the rock giant Reggie Rock. Ha, ha, ha. Special job, Chief. Now time to get looking into the other giants. Keep up the good work. Um... Let's check out that clue, because it said something about the clue, but I kind of just sped through it. Very cool, too. Far to the far into the giant bed's temple lies where there are giant stone steps. One on the temple's door are strange words. Let the first book one hold a never changing stone. When I gave up one ever stone to hold, the door opened, I f and then I found Reggie Rock. So look at this. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so this is, these are clues. Let, let out Noke. See these. Some of these are really cryptic. Like, I'm not good at solving puzzles. That's why you don't see me play a lot of Legend of Zelda games. So we're going to go into our um, inventory here. Yes, before everyone says anything, yes, these are all Pokemon. I got, I cloned them from, um, from, uh, for a giveaway in one of the groups. And most of them are shiny. Um, if you want some of those that are Halloween giveaway, all you do is comment down below. And I'll give, and I'll happily be able to give you one if you want one. Only one per person, though, because i got to make sure I have enough for the giveaway. You know what I mean? So, where's Red Rock go? Uh, Red Rock, where'd you go? Um, Red Rock. 
Um, where'd he go? Am I just not smart enough to see him? Okay, I'm going to do a uh, search for him. That way it blots out everything else. Reggie Rock. Search. Um, where are you, dude? Come on. There he is. Okay, so... Everything but his speed is actually really high in terms of IVs. That's pretty good. Ability clear by that prevents stats from being lowered, so that's a pretty good ability too. Alright, I that's pretty good. Okay, so now we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna I'm gonna attempt to get one of the Reggie dens, but considering how long it took me to catch Reggie Rock, I don't think I'm going too far on that one. I wonder if I can fly to one of the other ones. Giant's bed. Giant's bed. Um, well, there's a tree down there. Um, how do I get? Oh, I see. In order to get to the tree, I have to um, fly from here and then I have to go across the water. Let's see. Let's go there. It's like a fl fly to um, giant's bed. Okay, so if I make, make a left here, it was this the yeah, this is the one I was just at. Um, am I still where I'm supposed to be, or is it just gonna drop me in the middle of? Okay. Um. So we're going to head in this direction, it looks like. Oh, look at that. What, what are you? Come on. A great, a great ball. Not very... Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Tiny mushroom. Here's the tree. Hello, Nidal Queen. Are you... Are you supposed to be that color? Are you, are you always purple? Wait, is, is that my snore? Okay, that's my slow, bro. Scared me for a minute. Um... Another, whatever the hell we Okay, so here's the lake that we have to cross, I think. So we're gonna do this. Oh, can I not? No, I can't go down here. Um, gotta find, like, a water's edge or something. Whoa, Gyarados, hello. Wait, is that an area I could walk? Oh, yeah, there's a little space here. You find a Miracle Seed. That is a Grass-type move. Oh, I'm that raises the power of Grass-type moves. And a Life Orb. Nice. Life Orb is, uh, it powers up the Pokemon's move. It takes, but it takes one-tenth of the HP every time it uses an attack. It can actually deal damage. Which is a nice little thing that a lot of people use. Ah. Ooh, there's a Corvid Knight. A Tyrant. Do I have one of you? You don't see a lot of fossil Pokemon running around. Um, let's see. Pokedex, just in general. Wait, is it only going to let me... That one's fine. Let's check. Um, I suppose I can just run into it and check if they give you a little icon now. So let's run in and see if we get to have one of you yet. Do not have one of those yet. So we're going to start right off with a quick ball. So that works well when you first encounter a Pokemon. Then again, with it being level 60, it might not be work very well. Oh, wow. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, Tyrant was caught. I forgot to heal my Pokemon. Or at least give him revives. Tyrant's able to add to the Pokedex. Tyrant. Royal Air Pokemon. Rock Dragon. Height 27, weight 57.3 pounds, number of battle 1. Pokemon is selfish and likes to be pampered. You can also inflict Greaves wounds on his trade, but just by playing around. Send a box. All right, that was a nice little catch. Um, trying to get close to this tree as possible. A lot of raids around here. There's a Bolton. Cave is that? Is that how I? Is that good? Hmm. I have to go through that cave. Need to get there. An Aaron. Uh, Garcia Tw or Garcia Twig or however you say it. Lakeside Cave, Crown Tundra. Carbink. Noivern. Uh, Laron, Audino. Another Noivern. You found a Shiny Stone. That's you to evolve certain Pokemon. Uh, Pharaoh Seed, Aeron. You found a Rare Bone. 
Yeah, I got his poster. Uh, Klaus Cole, I think is how, how you say it. Ooh. Cutscene. There's a nice big ass fruit hanging from it. Is that? Oh no, it's Moltres. It's the Glorian Moltres. That though. Oh, I see they're fighting over the tree. Look at them by the looking of them. Okay, I think they're all just. I think that one's ice dark. Uh, Zetos is electric dark, and Moltres is fire dark. Uh oh. That's right, these guys are roaming legendaries. Which means you might have to take a few episodes just to, just to get to them. I think they're roaming legendaries anyway. Beep, beep, beep. Oi, oi, it's me, Pony. Listen, I wanted to ask you something. Hang on, Chief. There's breaking news on the telly. The do dodgy bird Pokemon are popping up left and right. There's a pointy feather one in the wild area. Plus a fire with an owl armor. And a fancy grace one flying around the ground tundra. Would be something that would turn out to be the bird Pokemon I wrote the clue about. If that were the case, I think I'd call this being something like... A legendary tree of, le of legendary... of a legendary tree. Now this is kind of clever. Can props on that one. Now I've gone in an ultra mega... I completely forgot what I called you for in the first place. Well, life's too short to just sweat the small stuff. Tachi. Um, you got down the curious status of the legendary clue three. When the z sun tree re reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a great tree and leaves with that seem to burn. There's legendary wings that come to roost. A bowed up orange dash to the wild area. A bird of black through the eye of armor. A bird of purple sent out across the crown, crown tundra. So, he, I saw him fool, fly off somewhere. They had that tree all the way over there. Maybe he'd be around there somewhere. I'll tell you, with the combined um, raids that are in each area of this, you'd never run out of raids to, to battle, I'll tell you that much. Is there anything around here we're looking at? Besides the wild Pokemon, obviously. Ooh. Uh, what happens if I shake it? Um, I wonder what happens if I just keep doing this for a while. <laughs> There's gotta be a reason that I can do this. Okay, so something is happening. Oh, something swooped down from the den and pulled you, and pulled you into the a Pokemon den. I might be in her mind. Dynamax ready. I guess this is happening. Start with slack off. Wait. Something around me. What, what is that? Max strike. Oh, jeez. This isn't happening. Reading strong. Um, well, I could go crawl and go brick break, I guess. Yeah, this is going over my time limit just because of this. I didn't realize this was going to happen, so. We're going to go Dynamax, we're going to go Max Knuckle. We're going to shake this Greed up a little bit. I really think that would happen if I thought something might fall and I get like an item or something.
sorry about that. I'm just talking to my friend back. He wanted to talk to me, and I was like, well, I'm kind of busy, dude, but whatever. This is gonna spam a neck and ass knuckle to do damage. And now it's time to thank you. I forgot he could do that. Been a while since I uh, did one of these. Oh, counter, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, this is over. I, I, I've done damage, but. Oh, I gotta do this How are you supposed to get a max Pokemon by yourself? You get to the max level and everything, and you have to bring people with you? I'm not sure how this works. Can I run? Of course I can. Why would I be able to? <laughs> so if I could do it, I could just wait for Pokemon to faint. There's nothing else I can do. I think it gives me one turn, unless Giga Impact is an effective spot. Doesn't have its other effect because the Pokemon is Dynamax. But it can't uh, Mega Ball. Go for Flamethrower, I guess. That's all I got left. There you go, it's getting all my Pokemon again. I burn him. Oh, of course he has a berry. Why wouldn't? Let's restore like all the No, nope, only the first berry. Okay. Let's rage sword more HP because it should help. Yeah, this is over. I'm not sure what they want, how, how they expect you to beat this guy, but you can't do it alone. It's almost impossible. You have to have the perfect Pokemon for this. Yeah, see, that's. That's the first time it's ever happened to me in, like, God knows how long. What do you got to say first? How goes the adventure? Anything to report? Wait, you actually caught Red Direct from the Legends? It's ultra mega brilliant. Report away. Um, you're saying that great craggy things Red Direct the giant giant. Just mirrors the bear strangling the semblance to their to, to a crash gym leader. Look at those broad, boldly shoulders of Thaw and Melo, our proper pair of buddies. Well, it's rocking and giant enough, I suppose. Let's call the expedition successful. Got anything else, Legendary, you want to talk about? Uh, yeah, the tree. Doesn't look like you. Oh, well, I technically did, but whatever. All right, so I'm all the way back here again. So, um, I guess for right now, I guess this is gonna be the end of the episode. Uh, if you want to see another episode, episode four, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, this is Pokemon Fan 1983 signing out. I'll see you guys in part four. Till then, take care. Bye bye.